All right. Hello, everyone. Sean the Bro, welcome back to Resident Evil Friday. I'm not out of breath. I'm just trying to contemplate how we're going to pull this off today. Okay, so thank you, Pat, Grandma. I saw Mr. Marshall was here. Great seeing all you. Thank you for coming to support me in this time of need. Um, so the power went out last time. Uh, and ended the stream, but we were able to successfully beat Mr. Boss Man uh, with one bullet remaining, which is why last time when you said, did you win, win was not the correct word. I survived. 
every boss is supposed to be killable with just the stuff in the room, I think. And I imagine that's the case. I mean, that's pretty much the only, like, fair way to make a game, right? Because if they don't, if you don't do that, then you could get into a state where you're actually stuck, which would kind of suck. Um, however, the, the thing is, I have to be proficient enough with my weapons to be able to do that. So we'll see. And, hey, what's up, Legendary? How you doing, boss man? I, I think I'm going to call you boss man. I like boss man, if you're cool with that says, I have arrived! It's great to see you. We're going to be fighting a lot of boss men today, so I might need your expertise on <laughs> how to beat them. Okay, so I'll just jump right into it this time. We don't have a lot of options. We have the DLC weapons if it ends up dragging on too long, which we were able to do without... We were able to get this far without using them so far. Even last episode, which was very difficult to beat the one boss with the little uh, cargo container. So we're going to see what we can do. Here, I'm going to sit up a bit so I can be more in the frame. I'm going to see what I can do. It's going to be a bit difficult. We will finish it today one way or another, though. And also, if we have, if we have time, if we have time, I will actually probably do some of the special modes in Resident Evil 2 before going to Resident Evil 3, like a, the, the Ghost Survivors mode, I know has a few achievements. Um, Let's get the hell out of here. And then we'll go to Resident Evil 3. If, we, if we'd finish it really early, we might just skip right to RE3, we'll see. But anyway, still figuring that out. First we gotta beat it. Uh, let's go, Morgan, with the sub. Bossman says, that's fine, I'm currently working on homework right now. Right? Homework, man. I'll tell you. What's up with that? Um, yeah, I think there might be a problem yeah. with that reactor. I gotta be Thank honest. You're welcome. David's here. He says hello there. Hey, David. How you doing, buddy? Pat says I'm driving home right now. Be back soon. See you later, Pat. Be safe. Thanks for letting me know. I appreciate that. Drive safe, yep. Grandma says, hi, I really think okay. Unfortunately, it's not code-related. Anything... So you said unfortunately, so I'm assuming it's not fun at all, but anything good? Like some good science, physics? You know, those will still help you with code down the line. It doesn't have to be directly code-related. That's the good part. So this is, so far, about the same as Leon's run. I'm assuming this is going to be pretty similar, but Mr. X is deceased. He is no longer with us. Um, I guess I'll just use this here. I mean, we're at the point where the it doesn't really matter uh, what we do. So David, just catching you up. We have one bullet remaining. Bossman says, Microeconomics, Humanities, and Career Orientation. Wow. Those are some loaded names. Well, Microeconomics is okay. Well, I guess they're all okay, but career orientation is a loaded name. One bullet and a dream, David says. It's true. One bullet, one goal, one dream. Let's do it, ladies and gents. The music is pretty good here. Turn my headset up for that. Okay, here we go. I'm assuming there are some bullets around, but I'm kind of hesitant. Like, I just want to run by these guys. The only problem is the boss. Obviously. I'm concerned about the boss. Oh, there was a red herb in my storage box that I never grabbed. Chris says, Chris says hey, I'm here now. Get the ribs in the oven. <laughs> Dude, hell yeah. Enjoy those ribs. And hey, Chris, thanks for coming by, man. Wish me luck today. Stupid thing's locked. I have one bullet. Oh, sure. uh, no. Go, go quicker than that, Sherry. Yep. You know, I'll, like, I literally... I don't know what you want me to do. Sherry? Sherry! Move faster than that, Sherry! No! I don't even know what I'm... Okay, so I have a grenade. I can delay him. Come on. Come on. Sherry! Sherry, help me, Sherry. 
<laughs> Got two racks cooked in so that I can have some leftovers for tomorrow. Now that sounds good. I I'm gonna need some of those ribs. We're, we're gonna need some, uh, we're gonna need some, some prayers today, guys. So, th for those that don't know, or for those who, uh, it cut out, because the stream cut out, I did watch it again. It cuts out a bit early. Um, it cuts out while we're fighting the boss. So I had to go through and get to a save point because we're on hardcore. But this is going to be a bit complicated because we have one bullet. We have one bullet to to get to where we need to go, let alone defeat the boss. I'm assuming there's some ammo when we get to the boss. Um, I'm praying that there is some. With everything in my body. Chris says one bullet. Oh, damn. So just... <laughs> It's going to be a fun episode, but here's the thing. Uh, flashbacks from Ryan's stream with no ammo. Ammo is the real enemy of this game, like Gravity of Dark Souls. So for this one specifically, just knife it out, boss man says. I wish I could. The problem is my, the combat knife that I have is a DLC weapon, and so far we have not used any DLC weapons. I'm trying to do a completely fair run, but it is going to be complex, i got to be honest with you. So I do luckily have a red herb, and it looks like I just found a blue herb, and I know those are green one. So we can get full health here, as well as damage, um, I don't know, suppression? That's the right word I'm looking for. But like, we'll, we'll take less damage. So I'll use it right away. Actually, I should have waited a bit until we got down here, but it's okay. I'm sure we're going to have to redo this anyway. Hopefully it won't be knife only, <laughs> hello. So, Okay, so here, here's the plan for those that aren't aware. We will be trying this, of course. regardless of how, how off our chances are, okay? We will be trying it, and what we'll do is if we end up not being able to beat it after like an hour, I will use the DLC weapons. That way we can finish it, because I do want to finish it this episode. So we're going to finish it one way or another, at least see the ending. But I want to give it a fair shot. I think it'll be fun. And we have made it this far. I think I'm just going to grenade this guy. And David said, Door stuck. Door blocked. Please. Please, Sherry. Please. You're not helping me. Sherry. Okay. So, yeah. I need a better plan there. I wonder if I can kite them around the, uh, the little loopy loop. That's what we're going to do next. Okay, let's see. Unfortunately, full health doesn't really help against insta-kill enemies. Though you can play Ring Around the Rose. Yeah, that's what I was going to do with the Bonnie Boy. Mitigation. Oh, wow. Okay, no audio and change control scheme. All right, you guys got it. We're going to pick B, and if you're on B already, then C. Wear a good helmet. I'm going to need a much stronger helmet right now. So, no, we will be finishing it today. Um, if anything, this might be a shorter stream than usual, because I was going to jump into Resident Evil 3 if we finish. But I, my new thought is maybe we'll do Ghost Survivors. I know is something that exists and has achievements and we should do. So, anyway, we might do that. Uh, that way when he grabs you, it doesn't hurt. Uh, it won't be shorter if we keep slinging all these challenges. Sock hands! Sock hands in Resident Evil? Alright guys, I'll do it though. Who, who did that? Was that David? Okay, David, what socks do you want? Again, collection of socks. I'm like a sock salesman. Salesman. We got Jack Skellington. We got Jack Skellington again. We got long Deadpool like thigh high or whatever they're called. Penguin. Let me know what you want. Put these here for a second. I'll, I'll get to at least a part here. Uh, you could be in. You could eat three in two hours if you started today. Are you being serious? The question is, could I do it? Like, actually? <laughs> that, that Discord message took a very long time to send. I mean, I'm sure it's possible, but would I be able to do it? You probably could not first run. Yeah, because I know the S rank on this is like two and a half hours or something. It's not too bad. Not too bad. So I'm wondering if I should just wait. Because they instant kill anyway. On casual passes. Yeah, I mean, probably if I knew the path. But you can easily beat that game an hour and a half once you're from... Really? Is it that short? Okay. 
So that one will be a bit shorter than RE2 then. I'm gonna play Ring Around the Rosie with these guys. I've got no audio. David, let me know what you want for sock hands. I can do it this next section. Sock hands on the next section if you want. Well, maybe not you. It's a bit stressful. It's a bit stressful. Speed runs are very stressful. Come on. We're gonna do Ring Around the Rosie. We did this with Mr. X on Leon's campaign, so. I'm not too worried about it, but Sherry, can you please work on that door? Okay, and things just changed. I know he's gonna grab me, but I wanna frag him. I wanna frag him. Whoa! Okay. Maybe that'll hit them both. Oh, there's something there. That door didn't stun him. Oh, and the no audio is actually kind of... Oh, wait, you want me to change control scheme? I'm sorry. Uh, controls... We're on C, so B, you got it. Works with me. Okay, let me know, David, what socks you want me to wear on my hand. Thank you, there's some ammo. Thank you, Sherry. Thank you for t Hur Yeah, hurry. Hurry, Claire. Hurry. And you know who needed to hurry a few seconds ago? The person keeping the door locked. Like, you can put a little bit of effort into it. I would not be mad about that. You're gonna die, right? I don't want to use ammo on you. Okay. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. <laughs> Change control scheme. <laughs> All right, let's do it. You hanging in there? I'm right behind you. Had a girl. I think we're almost out of here. Come on. Wait, auto reload off. Fancy. Wow. Okay. All right, Pat. We're getting into it now. Okay, yeah, I'm actually going to load up the game and see what my record was. David, I'm going to put on penguin socks. How about that? I don't know why I would choose that, because they honestly suck the most out of all of these. But, yeah, for some reason I'm doing that. So I guess we're, I guess we're doing that. So I got no audio, auto reload off, change my control scheme to control scheme B, and I'm going to wear socks on my hands. With well, we have like seven bullets now, so surely that's enough to uh, to take down. Uh, who am I fighting? Not Mr. X, that's for sure. Probably Billy B. Birkin. Pretty sure that's who I saw in the pictures because I look at pictures. Like I post a picture when I advertise the stream, and I think it was my boy Billy B. So we got sock hands, no audio, change control scheme, auto reload, off. What's up, Morgan? Thank you. I have a new new possibility of socks. Also got a minigun, though, thankfully. That will help with this guy. Can I, is there any way to, like, save beforehand? Okay, because I'm wasting precious time here. And I'm wearing socks on my hands. I'm not really too confident I can uh, beat him like that first time. On the hardest difficulty. You know, that, that might be a little hard for me to fathom. What are you doing? I gotta get this train moving. I need you to stay right here, okay? okay. We don't have time for this. Good. Be careful. Always. Be careful. I would not say always, honestly. I don't think that is accurate. But we are careful most of the time. Now, if you only had six, this would be a concern. Seven, easy game. Seven is the magic number. Okay, so this is literally the same as Leon's campaign, where we're we're putting this bad boy in. I'm um, assuming the boss fight is here. All right, it's working. Uh, a minigun, so we just burn him, making a road. Yeah. Let's see if we can. Yeah, my boy Leon's down there. Yeah. Funny because he's a little bit farther behind than you. Because he's at that first room, but he still has 10 minutes on his timer. Um, that's all I'm saying, okay? I want to know how he got out. No minigun for the first three attempts! No minigun! Pat, I have seven bullets, fella. Alright. I'm a man of my word. I, I honor the challenges, but I have set sev seven bullets. No, actually, I think I have eight. I think I have eight, but... Alright. 
Alright, like I said, man of my word, dude. Although I wish I could save here. I don't think I have the ability to do such a thing. Which means we have to run through that every time, which is quite annoying. Boss man says, oof. Yeah, that's a pretty big oof, not gonna lie. Especially since I'm, I know I'm dead for a fact now. I have these other socks that Morgan gave me. As well, which would be easier to use than these penguin socks. Yep. That's okay. good. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm literally dead. There is no possible. Well, maybe I can survive long enough. Like Leon does. What do you think? Is there a secret way to survive long enough to beat this guy? That's why I said just first three. I mean, I know what you said, but I still don't see the solution here. What am I supposed to do? Six. Shoot. Okay. <laughs> okay. Why can't you just die? All around, this is just going to go excellently for us. I swear. I'm not even going to shortcut you. I don't have anything to switch for. So I got my minigun out, but I won't use it. <laughs> Due to the challenge. I'm just going to run around and hope something happens. Because otherwise we are screwed. Come here, big boy. Alright. <laughs> Alright. I don't know what you guys get me into sometimes. I will say, this seems easier because I can at least run around the train. Leon, he just kind of... Look at this guy. I'm actually going to get up right now and turn my, turn my fan up a bit. Oh, me struggling to use socks on my hands. And, oh, oh, he's coming, he's coming. Okay. Hold up, boys. Don't worry. All my challenges are still intact. You know, honestly, this will probably be kind of a I mean, I don't want to jinx it. Okay, I'm not trying to do that. What I'm saying is, uh... <laughs> he kind of stuns himself, <clears throat> and I can run around this pretty much the whole time. So, come on, fella. What you got for me? This is surprisingly easy to dodge him. It's a bit harder once I actually have to shoot him, but... Ada! Ada, come in and save me! Can't you give me a rocket launcher? What's up, little guy? He's honestly... He's not too interested in killing me. This is a really long elevator. This is an insanely long elevator. So, this guy's really bad in comparison to Mr. Rex, though. Can we agree? Look at this. I got sock hands on, no audio, inverted control scheme, and I can't use the minigun. So I can't do damage to him, and he's terrible. I didn't even deal. so slow. Okay, he did get me. He did get, to give him credit, he got, I didn't think he was going to get me. I'm going to take these off, i got to be honest. This is so warm under here. Like, you want to think this is a thing? This is really warm. That'll be my, the thing that I revert this time around. I do have more socks added to the collection. Look up, how far down are you? That's a good question. I should have looked. All the way. Yeah, just sitting at the bottom. Oh, hold on. Let me respond. It's today. <laughs> Stop. 
Okay. Just chilling in the court. Okay, so yeah, you're right though. Hold on, so let me grab my. Let me grab my herb. I'll put. I'm gonna put audio back on just because. At this point, we've already been the whole way through. I don't think audio really helps or hurts us here, if I'm being fully honest. There's nothing really here for me to get killed by other than the Vani boys and the one fire guy and then the final boss. So I'll kind of get everything back to normal here. I am on the B control scheme and auto reload off. Get my herbs. The music is really killing it right here. Okay. So. Nope. Alright. So now with that done. So not, not even exaggerating. I have to use the minigun to kill him. Because they don't give you any other ammo. It's strictly they want you to use the minigun. Which is weird. I did not expect that. I don't know how I feel about that, but stupid things locked. I have to use it. Sure. So, despite the challenge, I think I have to. I mean, let me know if I'm missing something. I will gladly do the challenge, but I don't think they give you anything. It's kind of worthless. Like even this, these seven bullets are kind of worthless. They don't do anything for me here because actually I screwed up because I should have. Uh, I should have not done that so I could fight them, but it's cool. Let's see if I can come around this way. Yeah, this is going to be bad because he's going to get up too. Oh, I could go back up the ladder. <laughs> Thank you, Sherry. Okay, so yeah, I think I have to use the minigun. Not trying to invalidate your challenge. Honestly, I wish there was something more I could do. I thought there was going to be more ammo. Like, it would have been really fun. Like, don't use this overpowered weapon you got for the final boss. You use your regular weapons. But from what I can tell, it's kind of worthless to even have this ammo in the first place. Eight Ryan says, always use the minigun. What's up, Ryan? They're giving me a bunch of challenges again. You know how they are. No, it's actually, uh, oh, here's another red herb, too, if I needed it. Here's the storage box. Is there a save here that I missed? I don't think so. Huh. I need to go grab, okay. So yeah, sorry, I'm gonna use the minigun. Um, because I guess it's my only option. Oh, let me check in here. Wow. So basically, this whole thing is worthless. Even with the money gun, it'll be a struggle. Really? With just the minigun, it'll be a struggle, too? Okay. You got it, then. So I guess I literally had no choice. In fact, it might not even be enough, is what David's telling me. Which is not good. Really not good. Wish me luck, guys. This is gonna be an adventure. Ren says, "Now nah, you got this." Thank you, thank you. I like seeing the. Um, I like us doing Resident Evil. They were just talking about how they were having flashbacks, fl flashbacks, flashbacks to your no ammo. Like I have no ammo. Uh. You might need to save that grenade. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. So obviously I gotta shoot him in the eyes, right? Why can't you just die? Whoa! Just let me do that. I saw Pat said someone redeemed knife only. <laughs> I can't even knife, I don't even have an I have the combat knife, but that's DLC. It is, uh, so I think it has unlimited, if I'm understanding it correctly. 
Why is he so much more aggressive all of a sudden? Uh, if I could beat that a-hole with a chainsaw. Okay, that guy is pretty stupid, let's be honest. You chainsaw him through the head, which I know he's, you know, not exactly human. But, I don't know. I, I feel like you killed him plenty times over. He has no knives. Watching the minigun makes me want to hop on predator hunting grounds. That is correct. Dude. Yeah, so, like I said, those are my options. So, I don't know how long... I'd be Inferno RE3 in one hour and 20 minutes. You could be RE3 today. <laughs> that, says, that is insistent that I do that challenge. So, here. Honestly, let's come up with a good plan. I'll try and save my grenade. I will use the minigun, because, I mean, I kind of have to, right? And I will try to try to make sure that we get through this. I will be... I will be... Um, RE2 today, 100%. We might do Ghost Survivors, or at least try it. If we want to keep going, we'll start RE3. I definitely won't be finishing it today because I don't know anything about it. I don't think I can beat your time, Pat. Um, however, next time on Resident Evil Friday, I will do Resident Evil 3. I'm very excited about that. And lastly, uh, tomorrow, I don't know what the, the stream schedule is, so we might do something special tomorrow, too. So maybe we'll do a special special video tomorrow of a, of a different game. And the damn legs got back up. Yep. It's true. I believe in you. <laughs> Thank you, Ryan. I believe in you, Chris said. No idea what Ghost Survivor is. Pat says I believe in you. Wow, let's go. Thank you, guys. And you had the chance on them, too. Thanks, guys, for the support. We got this. Um... Although I gotta watch Ryan's Terror tomorrow. That's okay, I'll watch it too. Are you doing, what time are we doing again? For Ryan's stream? Cause tomorrow I'm a lot more free. Literally the only thing I'm doing is I might stream it. Otherwise we're gonna be working around the house. So I have a lot more time tomorrow. Yeah, I can't save the grenade. I mean, I, I probably can, but I can't just like, just read that up. All right, Sherry, go ahead and, uh, you know, open right up. Let's watch Sean reacting to Ryan's stream. <laughs> we could do a reaction stream. So this guy is like not killing the boss. And it's like he should be killing the boss by now. What's up with that? That would be ha about how that goes. Because that's what I was thinking 95% of the time. Um, or I'd be like, hey, this guy runs out of all his ammo like I do. Go through. Um, eventually? Later. Probably like six. I got cigars and margaritas for those that remain. Oh, that's what we're doing. Dude, that would be cool. I have not seen anything about that, but you guys said it looks scary. I meant to look it up, and I forget what happened. I'll, I'll try and look it up after this. My brain goes all over the place, so we'll see what we can do. But I definitely have to check that out. That would be fun. Uh, Pat says truth. That one is a lot less aggressive. It isn't much jump scares and good ambience as well. Gotcha. What are you doing? They're both good for different reasons, like jump scares and, and scary ambience games. You should probably heal, by the way. That's true. I forgot I even had the health at this point, since basically everything was an insta, uh, insta kill. HP not required. <laughs> oh man, guys. Okay. We're gonna skip the cutscenes. I'll I will heal. I'll heal right here. So he goes up here. The first time I fought this guy, he was just straight garbage. I don't think I can hit him. So I'm not sure. Why you get so aggressive sometimes? But okay, he's a little bit harder than I gave him credit for. I still don't think he's as hard as Mr. X. I struggled with him on on casual or whatever. Okay, 
Okay. No, no, no. Okay, good. He stunned himself. This minigun's gonna have to pull through, because we're almost halfway through the ammo. Yo, fella, what you doing up there, big guy? By the way, looking up, it's just infinite black. That's going up there, big man! Okay. Okay. No, I'm just gonna leave you alone now, okay? Just don't, don't bother me, how about that? We can go our own separate, separate ways, separate ways. Okay, good thing, good thing. Nope. Come on. Right in the chest, big boy. Right where those eyeballs are. They're sexy. Nice looking eyeballs. Nope, 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 nope. That can stop. Listen, I got good at shooting you in the eyeballs last time around, okay? We're gonna need a new strat for this one. Okay, so he's probably gonna hit me again here because he jumps here. Okay, now I was able. He just had to walk a bit that direction, and all of a sudden he's not good anymore. So we are getting a little bit low on ammo. I'm trying to hit every single shot I take. And try and hit different eyeballs every time so I actually see them pop. He's getting red, which was right before he died last time. I think we're doing alright. I think we're doing just fine. Same strat. Same strat. You see, sometimes he jumps there first. Sometimes he jumps there for you. There we go. We got this guy down pretty well. I'm sure he's got some tricks up his sleeve. Or he'll just go straight and not for me at all. I thought you were supposed to go for it. It's like... Yeah, I'm good. I knew you'd have some tricks up that sleeve. Oh, I'm dead. I'm so dead. Yeah, I knew I was dead. Okay, I felt like that was pretty good. I'm not really sure how much health he has. Um, the red eyes indicate he was pretty low for me. Yeah, uh, it's new. Got to get the new games for the new views. That's true. But any any sort of game that has a good audience will work, Ryan. Uh, just remember to reload. Well, to be fair, you are shooting him with a minigun. That's true, too. Oh yeah, I agree. I'm just waiting for Ryan to drink a ton and be exceptionally terrified. The minigun probably helps. Good thing that train is there. <laughs> Rip in Peppa Pig! Rip in Peppa Pig, my boys. I'm not even going to bother taking my red herb out because it shows up later in the game anyway. Right before the final fight, so that's a waste of my time. 10 until uh, okay. I was pressing the wrong buttons because that darn changer control scheme is junk. It's junk. Okay, how long have we been doing this? Only 40 minutes, so we'll do this for like another few attempts and then we'll use a, probably use a DLC weapon. At this point, I think it's fine. That way we can get to Ghost Survivor's mode because I'm very curious about doing it. I know there is an achievement for finding all the squirrels in that mode, so if anyone would like to let me know where those are when we get to that, I would appreciate course, that. Stupid things lost. Otherwise, I'll have to replay it, and that kind of sucks. So this ammo does nothing for me. I mean, I guess I do have eight bullets if I don't end up using it here. Uh, if you save... The grenade. This should be possible without. I think it would be possible with just the minigun, but I already screwed up my grenade. Uh, but infinite weapons. 
If I grenade him and stay here, will that other guy get to me? Or is he too slow? Like, what if I shoot him? Because I can't actually stun them. He gets stunned for quite a bit, too. There we go. Yeah. I can do that. I can try and stun the one and with the bullets and save the grenade that way, actually. That might work better. Since it only takes about five bullets to stun one. Oh, except I just missed. I might be actually dead here. I am. I'm dead here. Because I missed my bullets. That might be better, though. I think I'm going to try that. Uh, but infinite weapons, yeah. I'll try and save. I'll try and save the grenade. For real. I'll try and save it this time. I will shoot them to stun them and run around. Fighting zombies on fire is always a bad idea. I mean, it's not so much a bad idea as it's just not a good idea. That's the way I see it. Okay. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. We need to channel our strengths together to be able to pull this off. Everybody, you must have faith. You must raise your holy level to something higher. Uh, no, it's bad, because now they do property damage in addition to murdering you. I mean, I'm not too worried about the property, let's be honest. Um, yeah, grenades should make the fight a lot easier, though you only want to use it when the boss is stunned so you don't actually miss it. Flaming zombies are an insurance nightmare. I can imagine. I can imagine that is not the easiest. I mean, anything with insurance gives me nightmares. So, you know, I don't want to have to go trying to describe flaming zombies. I gotta be fully honest with you guys. Not here, no, but if you had to defend somewhere, flamethrower is probably a bad idea, that is true. Of course. Stupid thing's locked. Hold on. Alright, sure, so you, I, I, I hear what you're saying, David. I will try and stun one of these guys and run around the other. Like as soon as this guy falls. God damn it, you're trying to suck. Nine minutes until detonation. Oh, but he did not get stunned by it that time, I think, did he? Come on, come together, you two. Keep coming. Come on, married couple. Let's go. Move on with it. Move along. Easy. Alright, we kept the grenade. I will heal when we get close so I can get that damage reduction. In case it ends up saving me at all. I don't really think it will. But we'll try it. The problem is I don't have anything for this guy. I used all my bullets, so I, I'm going to try and figure out a good way to get around this guy without using my grenade. Alright, okay, he died. I thought he might die on his own, so I'm glad he did. <laughs> no, you don't have any... Wait, what was that? Well, to be fair, it probably was. Jerry, so the plant dudes got stunned when you hit all the yellow parts on them. Oh. Though now you don't have bullets for Fireboy. Attempt to dodge. Well, I suppose that works. You know, that's my strat for everything. Can't beat them. Just run until they die on their own. Old age, whatever it is. As long as I don't do it. Well, punch. That situation sorted itself out. Didn't even need to punch. Didn't even have to punch. Alright, guys. Here we go. Died of natural cause. I mean, he was on fire. I guess that can, counts as a natural cause. Alright, so don't worry. I won't forget to heal. I gotta pick up my minigun. I really wish there was a save here. But there's not, so we're gonna have to live with ourselves. So, yeah, like I said, we will heal here. 
I will try and use the same maneuvers I did last time. Although, he was kind of good, actually. He was kind of good at hitting me at the end there. Like, see, sometimes he's really good at doing that move, and sometimes he's terrible. There's a way to tell which one he's gonna do. Whoa! Okay. I stood a little bit too close to the fire. Why is he going so far? Like, I feel like he wasn't going that far the first time. Maybe it's because I was focusing on just running. Maybe the, the issue comes in while I'm shooting. So maybe I should always just run to the end. Wait for him to turn to me and then shoot him. He's gonna climb up the thing. Sometimes he jumps on the train, sometimes he jumps right over. So we're gonna find out. Okay, he's jumping on the train and if I keep running. Yes, I am okay. Shoot him in his little eyeballs. Run straight to the left, straight to the left. I've been told to use my grenades when he's stunned. Those are my exact instructions, so that I don't mess. So, when is he stunned? When he hits the wall and, like, staggers for a second? Is that what Okay, like, I could do it now. I actually did two. Ah! I did waste it. I didn't realize he was climbing. Sometimes he just, like, does a wrestling move. I think we can take him. He was pretty low last time. With, just with the minigun. Honestly. And I think I was even more careful this time than I was with the bullets. Now he just climbs that, like, 24-7. Oof, oof, when he hits the wall. <laughs> Thanks for the, the oofs together. Sorry about missing that, guys. I don't want to disappoint you guys. I'm doing my best here. I think it's good enough. I really do. I think if I can not die to him, I think we have enough ammo. That was close. I soiled myself a bit on that one. I think we can take it. Run. I think we can take him. It's gonna be close. Remember, I still have seven. No, I used my pistol ammo. Dang it. It is gonna be big close. I think we can get him. Nope. Is he dead? He lost his eyeballs. No, he's not dead. Wait, I can't tell. Oh, he's gonna be doing his little... Why did he lose all his eyeballs right there? Yeah, I don't know what he's doing. Ah. Dang it. I did so well. He's not dead. Keep shooting. Ah. Uh, wait. What's going on? Is he dead? Oh, he dead. <laughs> yes. Why did he die, though? Wait, he is dead. David said, good job. Thank you. Why did he die? Got that eyeball chain explosions, right? <laughs> awesome work. Pat said, pop last time, then he's dead. His eyes were popping as he crawled. That was close. That was close. Awesome work, guys. We did it. Must have been his weight. He had a heart attack at the end. <laughs> All right. 
Though it ain't over yet. So I've heard. Uh, Robert had said, play through a second time for, a, a, like, the actual final boss. That's what he said. I'm not too sure what to expect here. But we should meet Leon. We saw a player on Leon's campaign. So we should meet Leon now. And this should be the actual final boss, I guess. He needs better eye drops. That's a good one, Pat. <laughs> That's why I don't keep the pointy bits next to the squishy bits. That's true. Yeah, true ending as well. He's got really irritated eyes. Sometimes they just hurt, man. the sherry now. Who's this? This is the sherry. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's like, I didn't that? sign up for all that no. kid stuff. You stay here with Sherry. I'm gonna go check it out. It's Billy B again. I know it's Billy B. I don't like you, Billy B. Uh not sure how you're gonna do it with zero ammo. I'm assuming I get more more <laughs> More bullets. Rename stream the Zero Animal Final Boss. <laughs> final Boss Sherry. Just eat the kid at the monster and run. Just bait and run. I'm sure I get more ammo, right? Yeah, I can craft ammo. And I get an ink ribbon so I can save as well. Wait, no, I only have one thing in gunpowder. Hold on, where's the save? Let's save. Okay, save's right here. Let's save. Save, and we're good. So, I only have one thing of gunpowder. If I really can't do it with zero ammo, then we will use a DLC weapon, and I'll just have to be okay. I get a knife. No, there's another thing of ammo here. We have to combine them together, I guess, right? It's the only ammo here. Uh, I probably don't want this weapon with it, right, though? I want the, um... You guys always told me to use the... I already loaded it in there. I could switch next time. But you guys always told me to use this gun with the regular ammo because it's got the laser sight. Uh, good. <laughs> Any gunpowder in storage. Browning is better. Which one is the browning? Is that the one that I... That's the browning. Sorry. The... This guy, right? Is this not the brown? This is what I would think was. Uh, hey, Tata's here. Hey there, Sean. How are you, bud? Dude, I'm doing well. Thanks for coming by. We are on the final boss of Resident Evil 2 in the hardest difficulty with essentially no ammo. We have like 30 bullets. There is no ammo in storage, everyone. Just so, you know, just so you're aware. JMB, yeah, it's the one you're using. Okay, I thought so. All right, guys, so you're going to see some magic here. Uh, good luck, everyone. You know, everyone watching, good luck. Wish me luck. I'm sorry for what you have to see. Use the rocket, Ryan says. Well, don't miss, Chris says. So I want to use the rocket. The thing is, I've been trying to do a no DLC weapon or like no special weapon um, run. And that is, that is going to be, I have pistol ammo here. And I'm not sure if I can beat this final boss with this. Okay. Don't miss. So he does have some eyes still. Okay. I can't really see him though, so I can't just... I, I... Yo, Claire is using some intimidation tactics that are... That is not exactly true, okay? You say, how are you still kicking? I put about 12 pistol ammo in here. I might be able to wait it out until he opens his eye and then use all the bullets. Maybe he'll just die on his own, too. Hey, what's up, buddy? Uh, why don't we all just back away now? Come on, come on, let's go. Ah! Come on. Use your knife to get out of this one, Claire. 
Okay. I think I'm not getting out of that one. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, use the rocket. Chris said he might. Yeah, I might have to. We'll see. Taco said good luck. Thank you. This one is easy, by the way. Did you finish Leon's scenario? Yes. You finish Leon. This is Claire. Um, the boss does not seem bad at all, but the problem is I'm not sure if I genuinely have enough ammo. So there is this much ammo I just saved here so I could kind of plan beforehand. There's gunpowder here and there's gunpowder here. I can only mix those two together. That's all I've got. So I've got 39 bullets worth of ammo in here. So we'll see. Uh, but maybe we will do it. I believe in us. I think we could do it. I think if we waited until he opened his eye, we could do it. I think I've seen some adult videos that start like this. Listen, Pat, okay? I'm just saying, any videos that start like that are videos, you know, I'm not sure if I enjoy being eaten by some tentacle monster. I'm not, you know, there's no judgment, just me personally. Just walk it off. Wait, he ate you. I think maybe, just maybe, you might have died. Uh, I think so. Save all the ammo for the eye. Cut your way out. I, I was hoping the combat knife, I could actually stab his knife. He grabbed me right away. I'm assuming I can't get that close to him. Just attach the car, and you might be able to do it. Like, you don't need that part of the train to attach and run. Yeah, we can. I mean, I think that's a joke, though, right? We can't actually detach the car. So run up to him, trigger him. I will save the... It's a joke. Okay, just making sure, because I feel like detaching the car would make this a lot easier, though. <laughs> I'll wait for him to get close and hopefully open his eye so I can use every bullet in his eye. I'd imagine good game design would dictate I would theoretically be able to do this with only the ammo given, like Pat mentioned earlier. Come on. Open that eyeball up. Does Chris like to say that? That's a pretty generic line. Like, I don't think Chris invented show no mercy. I gotta admit. Okay, you're getting a little close there, buddy. Oh, yeah. He's... Well, I'm, not dead. I'm assuming he's done it. Let's hope. See, Leon knows what's up. Leon's with Chris. Come on, Leon. Take your time, buddy. Yeah, okay. How come she can stand that close, but when I tried to knife her, I got eaten? If Chris was here, he just would have right in the, <laughs> right in the eye, and that dude would have died in one hit. Chris has a good way, you know, using his hands. Let's be honest. Okay, that that boy must have been dead by now. Uh, I know, right? She got some big words. <laughs> Bite him before he bites you. GG easy. Yeah, it was pretty, that was pretty easy, Tata. Just as soon as I waited to use my ammo for his eye, then it was good. Not even close. Why don't you just lose the car in the first place? Very good question. Didn't even touch me. Easy game. Yes. We just... Well, we actually just met last night. And she... Claire neglected to tell me that she was a caretaker for you. Yeah. Which is a big bummer for me. Look. He might be able to give us a ride. It's not just the city. The cherry out of here. I'm gonna one v one this kid. Get Sherry out of here. Never been so happy to get flipped off by someone before. So. Is it over? I don't know. But if it's not, we'll stop it. Whatever it takes. Yeah, you're damn right we will. As long as we stick together, 
we'll be fine. Splits up instantly. So, okay, I like this one. Why does the game even give you a knife at the end there? That's a good question because it did not seem like I would genuinely be able to use it at any point. He must have an attack. Did pair would be pretty cool, actually. A, um, a, he must have an attack where you can actually counter him with a knife. We did it, guys. We did hardcore, no DLC or like infinite ammo weapons on the second playthrough of the game. I feel pretty good with that. Tata says, Chris punched a boulder in RE5. That's what I was referencing. I love it so much. I love that he could do that. And I just wish he was there, and I just wish he just one shot at this final boss. To stab him? Duh. Exactly. Imagine the damage in the boss's eyes. <laughs> Chris punches boulders when he's bored. <laughs> like David said, that's how he intimidates boulders. Uh, if he can win a fist fight with the boulder into a volcano, it's the dude from Twisted Metal. Pebbles are told horrid tales about the dastardly Chris who punches the gods of their world. <laughs> no boulder has ever crossed paths <laughs> with Chris and Lynn. The Kratos of boulders. Wait, dude, it's just gonna drive past you after all Raccoon City's just died to zombies? It's gonna be in the news, right? And that dude's like, nah, F that, we're only a few miles from Rack City. Do you not punch boulders? I do. It, I mean, it depends on my mood, right? Like, if I'm feeling a little edgy that day, I might just go punch random boulders outside. About the truck driver, Pat's totally right. I thought the same thing. So, sure, it's contained in the city. I'm sure the government, uh, like, covered it up or whatever. You're telling me, like, they had no idea, though, that business is just normal over there? I'm gonna skip this. Dude, I don't care what you say. That was good. Let's be honest. I'm... So. So, no news story. Now, all the reporters died, so no, no news story. See, and I couldn't even believe that. Like, flat out, I could actually believe that all the reporters died and they didn't get the news out. Still, something would be like, hey, Raccoon City isn't giving us any news, boys. Maybe something's wrong with them. I don't think this dude, I mean, maybe that guy doesn't have his radio on. That's fine. Exactly, I don't believe they exist. <laughs> Raccoon City zombies are fake news. I mean, they definitely died. They did definitely die. I'm not arguing that. Uh, just shy of 10 hours, Pat said. Yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, so there were, there were like three people alive. There were probably exact no, Ada survived. There were four people alive at least. So guys, since, okay, so how long? We have an hour, we've been an hour and three minutes in it. So technically, I was gonna switch over to RE3. However, this was intended to be the last Resident Evil 2 stream. Especially if you guys are not familiar with this, maybe we should do these three ghost survivor modes. They're not as hard as Fourth Survivor from what I've heard, but I'm not positive about that. What do you think about doing these modes? There is an achievement to beat them, and there's also one to get all the squirrels, I believe, in them. I don't know where, excuse me, where the squirrels are. However, I would be interested in trying it. Um, there's no way a whole city that size disappears and people even just even just guys stopping for gas in the city don't spread the news. That's what I'm saying. It's a little it's a little far fetched, okay? I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm the best zombie killer. Ask anyone. I see a zombie, I kill it. Trust me, I'm a zombie killing expert. Best zombie killer there ever was. Tofu. Oh, so there's just more quick things. Yeah, just they're just quick. They're just quick things. I mean they might take me longer because they might be hard. Like Force Survivor is pretty hard. One hundred percent dog, let's do it. Tofu. Go for it. Tofu. <laughs> Wait, you have to collect squirrels? Roanoke disappeared. Nobody knows what happened to them. Yeah, they, they're gone. So yeah, let me look at the achievement. I'll look on my phone um, because I can look up a guide. Because if we're going to go for the 100%, I'm, I'm being fully honest with you. I'm not going to walk around for 100 hours to try and find squirrels and replay this a thousand times. So Resident Evil 2 achievement guide. I just want to see what the achievements are related to it. I won't have to necessarily follow the guide the whole time, but I want to know kind of what we're getting into. So, 
we have to destroy all Mr. Oh, sorry, not squirrels. Destroy all Mr. Raccoons hidden in the Ghost Survivors mode. And complete... No, complete the Fourth Survivor already. Complete no way out scenario. Maybe you have to complete the other three to get that one. Or something. I'm not entirely sure. Uh... Let's see, got M R E two. Let's look at this and then we'll we'll get started. I just want to see. So destroy all the Mr. Raccoons. It, they each contain at least one. Oh, there's actually quite a bit though. There's four, three, two, and one. Is on the short day. Oh, there's there's different paths though. Okay. Okay. So there's 10. So I'm not going to use a guide here um, for the sheer fact that I don't want to sit here and look at my phone while we're doing that. But that's good to know so we're aware of what that entails. Yeah, but the cell service in Roanoke was really shitty. That's probably true. Ah, oh, yes. Town disappears before the information age. Checkmate. Prove me wrong. That that runaway one looks like a slooped thought. Wow. <laughs> Look, these zombies are here to eat. And, you know, they say, I would, I would assume that some of them are good zombies, but the bottom line is that they're here to kill and eat you. And, you know, the fake news says, oh, Trump said zombies are evil, but that's just because they are sad. Stop snowflake zombies. All right, guys, so we're going to get started. Change your head accessory. Wow. Wow, okay, there's actually a lot to this that I didn't know. All right, you guys said Tofu Survivor. So we're going to do that. Now, this one is not required for any achievements or anything. Right, this is... Okay, a shadowy intelligence agent who is known for his ability to adapt to a wide variety of situations. He's only as good as the water he's made from. His low cost and good results have never seen him serve active duty around the world in recent... Or have seen him serve active duty around the world in recent years. Codenamed Tofu, his charm knows no bounds. Okay. This is, you guys said this is like fourth survivor, right? But I'm tofu and I only have a knife. This is Nighthawk. Come in, Alpha. Alpha, do you read? Man, I thought you were all wiped out. I've been trying to. All right, so yeah, we'll we'll play it a few times. I don't know if we're gonna beat this. I think this is gonna be hard, right? Nani, <laughs> Tofu of Doom. You only need a knife though. He he's a boss. Tofu is such a chonker, such a QT pie. Gotcha. Like quick time though. That's good. Why is this a thing? Ryan's asking. You know, I'm asking myself the same question. Am I the Grim Reaper? So honestly, let's see what we got here. Oh, so we have a bunch of knives, and we have some healing products as well. So, I have two red herbs. Oh, because you could use one with the blue herb. I'll probably just mix them all together. What do you guys think? All right, let's get into it and just see what we can do here. You guys know how bad I am at running around, people. We'll do a few attempts here, though. Let's... Okay, so it's run through her left, right? I can't do it I think I can remember. Wait, am I actually missing pieces of tofu now? No! <laughs> Vegan zombies! Okay, this is awesome. I'm really enjoying this. Yeah, I heard that this was in the original game. I've, you know, I've never... Again, I've played RE2, just like i played Dark Souls. I just never got actually far into it. That's why I wanted to play these games on stream, because it's much more fun to play with you guys, and also you guys help me out a lot. Stuff that I struggle with. So, am I at full health still? No, I'm at fine, okay. <laughs> okay, the good thing is I do know the fourth survivor's path, so hopefully I don't forget it. But I do know where we're going. I will have to heal. 
pretty soon already, unfortunately. Look at the gorgeous jiggling. It's it's pretty nice jiggling. I'm not gonna lie to you. So what do you guys think? Do we want to fully heal, like do the the three herb heal? Wait, that's not what we're going over here. Because at least we get the damage reduction at that point, and we will go back to full health. So far, up without using that stuff. I only used one prior. Right? Okay. Just spit on me. Just do it. I'll remove the toxin. You have to let me buy that. I think it's only fair. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. This is not going well. <laughs> you, sure? you sure? It seemed like it was going pretty well, I think. Alright, so, fine, we'll do this. Uh, probably red, blue also gives damage reduction. Nope, only GRB does. I think it's only all three. I could be wrong. Um, I'll just do all three. It is our first run, and we do have actually plenty of knives. Plenty of knives. That's the only part where you can get poisoned, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think it's. I think that's the only part where you can get poisoned. No, those little, the little leaf guys, the plant guys, don't they poison you too? No, they just kill you though. I can knife them, I think. Right? You can knife them? I know you can frag them. I'm pretty sure you can raid them. Oh, David said it absolutely does. Really? Does, does green red blue give you more than uh, just red blue? Because I also did only think it was on the uh, if it's only GRB. Okay. Ooh, getting by this guy might be a problem. Okay, or he'll just like randomly fly into the distance. Never mind. I thought he was going to be better than that. Okay, he's coming back. Get out of here, boys. Ugh. It's a bit rough. We're still on fine, but I don't have any other health, like any actual healing. Thank you to whoever just clipped that. Is it called Spit On Me? <laughs> Good one, Pat. <laughs> yeah, they were taking advantage of me, I'm not gonna lie. They're, they're a big fan of their tofu. Gives the heal as well. Really? Okay, I did not know that. Man, I should have uh, used that in the actual good one if that's the case. Yeah, I don't know how. To, I don't think I knew how to get back uh, by you in the other time. You know, like in the first run. Oh, there's a lot of people here. Just let me run. Just let me run. I won't be a bother to anybody. Okay, we still got plenty of knives. I know there's a liquor up here. I don't think there's a good way to get around him in this. I think you have to stab him. Okay. Yeah, but the thousand, the hundred foot outside the front door of the station, you just grab one hundred times, really. Okay. Okay. We'll see how it goes. I know Mr. X is gonna come. How do I get by him? Can I knife him? Because usually I would stun him right about now. Is there a good way to get around him? Like, what if I lure him in here? I'm just luring myself in a corner, let's be honest. Okay. Oh, and he, he just punched me. Great. Thank you, sir. Okay. Alright, let's see. Come on. Keep 
going. Keep going. Whoa! Who the heck are you and where'd you even come from? Okay, I only have eight knives left. What the hell, late for extraction. We are in fact late for extraction. I'm not hunk though. You're gonna find something very, very surprising. Okay. Oh god. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. I know there's a liquor here, he said he'll paint my butt. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Inconsiderate, I'll tell you. I know, Mr. X is coming. Hey, what's up, buddy? Okay. I just heard that. Okay. Things are quickly, quickly going downhill. As Mr. X attempts to haymate for me in the back of the head. Okay, I'm pretty sure I can knife you guys and do it because I'm gonna have to. Yes. Come on. Stay away, Mr. X. We got four knives left, but we're on danger health. I'm more concerned about the health. Oh, I forgot about you. I should... No! That was a very intimate camera view. I gotta be honest. Okay. Let's see. Uh, I'm not hunk, though. You're right. You're the angel of death himself. This dude just wondering why Hunk sounds like a prepubescent child or a Jawa. Pretty much. Honestly. Good old Tosu, Tofu Survivor, man. Maybe mix up the two so you can heal twice. See, I, I thought about that, but I can't heal twice exactly. So I can get damage reduction, and I can get toxin removal, but I can't actually heal two times. Although it might be better. Okay, we'll try again. I have some some ways I could improve upon that run. Let's try again. I wish we had two green, trust me. Trust me. I'm headed toward the front gate of RPD. So we run to this person's left, which always confused me. So I did not feel like that was the right. Somehow it is. And then I'm gonna try not to use as many knives at this part coming up, but I also don't want to have to stop. Stop, sir. But it would be better, in my opinion, since you could get the same effect. Yeah, I agree, actually, and you guys bring up a good point. So I think I'm gonna mix these two and try this out. Combine these two, and then combine these two. Because this will get me a full heal, and this will get me toxin redu reduction plus damage taken. Okay. So, I can do that, and use that after those little big chunky boys. Um, okay. I can use that after the chunky boys if I get poisoned and still have ability to heal without... Because I used the heal a bit early last time. I think I was still even maybe in fine, but I used it, and I shouldn't have used it. Although this, I don't know how to... I'm actually getting a bit more beat up this time around, though. Although I do remember our fourth survivor run, and the, when we ended up finishing it, it was like the worst run we had. So I'm not going to give up. We're still doing well. We'll do okay. Got to be careful for this guy. Swing wide, run to the right. Then swing to the right of that guy. Go to the left of this one. The right of this guy. I got the route pretty well down for a lot of the different areas. Um, if you use the RB combo for the two poison boys, you won't need to use any knives. The RB combo. Like, 
Oh, the red blue, the red blue combo. You're saying, yeah, you think that's better because this is the only time I'll be toxins, right? There might be another one at the end. Isn't there another one of these boys at the end? I'm just gonna run for it. I'll get grabbed. I'll get toxins. Get on me. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. I expect you to grab me at least one more time. Okay. Excellent. So now I can use this. Right? Why do you say use them both at the same time? Uh, since it all... Wait. If you use the army count before two poison boys, won't you... Since, since it also protects from... Yeah, I just took the poison... And I can use it after to fix it. I think either way is the same. Um, everything went wrong in the first half. There is another by a ladder. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's where he's at. Uh, but you can use knives for that. That's true. Uh, that may be the best you best run you've ever had. That bit. Yeah, that wasn't bad. Oh, the problem is I'm I'm low anyway though. I'm already in danger. So if I get bit in like the back of the neck or from behind, I'm gonna I'm gonna die anyway. Yeah. Yep, no, I think you're right, David. I think that's the plan. But incidentally, it's right now. Yeah, I agree, right? I can't even take one more hit, can I? Fine, we'll use it right now. It's fine. But I think that's the strat. If I, if I could do that beginning part a bit better and not take as much damage, you should use the RB before those two because it gives the damage resist as well. You're right. Okay, you're right. That's why I should have done that. Good point. Good point. I don't know how I was able to run. I forget the exact path I took. But I was able to run through this area. Committed. Now Ryan says, yeah, we've already committed at this point. There's no going back. Yeah, in the future, use RB before. All right, you guys got it. This guy, I got a stab. Or he'll just damage me like that. Which is actually way worse. Because he's going to come up behind me. Yep. Yo, you are the worst, my dude. He bought him just enough time for him to get up and bite me in the neck. What? Aw, oh, man. Then he just threw everything off because now this guy's already up. Wow. The disrespect from some people. Hopefully he shows the damage pretty easily without needing to look it up. Yeah, he shows it. I just want to know, like, what does this relate to? So this is caution. So I think this is a bit of a worse run actually than last time, but we have a ton more knives. So that makes sense. God. Uh, are you at like 50% mass, you're in danger. Okay. Okay, good tip. It's alright, never tell me the odds, okay? You know, I plan on stabbing you, don't worry. Then I want to run through you two. To the left of this guy. To the right of this guy. Oh, I almost... Well, I'm already in red, and Mr. X is going to punch me. So this run is, uh... It's going to go down the drain pretty quickly. Stab. Good old stabby stab. Keep going. Good old Tofu Survivor. Well, that is red. <laughs> yeah. We're in a bit of trouble here. Not gonna lie. We've been in worse predicaments. Come on. Come on, just do it. Come on, I know you're gonna hate me for me, but just let me run by, thank you. It's because he never grabs anymore. If he grabbed, I could have just knifed. Fine. I think this was the worst way to go. I apologize. Yep, this was definitely the worst way to go. Come on, just leave me alone. Just leave me alone. Okay, go left around that. Okay. 
Yeah, I think Mr. X is gonna kill him. Oh, never mind. What a Chad play. <laughs> He punched me, and then he went to, like, light a cigarette or something. I don't know what he was doing. He brought his hands up to his face. I think going right was the easier way we determined here. Because even if I get bit here, or, like, have to use my knife there, then I can run straight through here and be okay. The problem is this liquor. I think this liquor will kill me. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be tough. That's the tough part for me. Dodging the actual attacks like that that do little damage over time. Okay, yeah, go around the left of the table, more space, okay. So, how far? Okay, we're an hour and a half in. So, we can... We'll do this one one or two more times. Who knew liquors were vegetarians? You know, I don't think any of these people are vegetarians. I think they're doing it just to be... Disrespectful. To be honest. We'll do this, like, one or two more times, and then we'll go through ghost, ghost Survivors real quick. I don't know how quick it is. One more attempt. Okay. I think one more attempt is good as well. And then we can do Ghost Survivors and wrap up RE2. Then we'll do RE3 next time. I'm excited for that, because I've never even played the original. So I have no experience with it. I know Nem everyone hates uh, Nemesis. Okay, so, like, that time, why could I not run by you? Okay. Hear me out, guys. I ran the same path that I feel like I always do around the left, and I just got absolutely strict. Okay, this this run is the collision different? That's a good question. I do not know. It's hard to tell. I, I think it's the same. I really think it's the same. That is hard to tell, though. So this run is already bad. It's, uh, in fact, what I would call probably straight garbage. I'm going to still go with this method, I think. Because I think having the two and get the damage reduction the first one, healing and getting the second damage reduction is a really good tactic. I don't know how to get around this lady without using a knife. I have never found a way to do it. I don't feel like it's honestly possible. The dogs always bite me here in some regard. I would love to minimize damage here. Sometimes they're just bad and miss like that. Who knows? No damage reduction on the floor. Gotcha, okay. Good to know then. Like that time, he was totally standing in a different spot than where he normally stands. Okay, almost screwed me over. Straight garbage is a technical term. Straight garbage was my nickname in high school. Both of those things are probably true. I mean, what else would you like me to call it other than straight garbage, though? It, it was pretty bad. Alright, we'll use this, I guess, when I'm a little bit closer to him in the water. So we'll use this. I'm just going to try and do this again. Because he grabbed me once, but he, I was able to run by. So, wait, when I get spit on, I won't get poisoned? Correct. Except I lost where I'm trying to go. Oh, he screwed me up. I got so confused. Okay. Uh, no, now it's not so straight garbage. <laughs> Get spit on! Wow. <laughs> okay, so the good thing is we did not get poisoned, and I do have a bit more health than last time. Okay. That guy managed to ruin that instantly, so that was cool. I can It looks like I can take a hit when I'm on danger and survive. Okay. So I think... I'm actually going to try and get through this next part without healing. And I know that sounds kind of stupid, but if I get hit, okay, I go to fine. I go from good to fine. If, if I don't get hit, nah, I'm dead, okay. Yeah, I don't know. 
Sometimes it's bad. Wait, really? I don't even know what happened there. Wasn't he bringing me to the ground to do terrible things to my body? Well, I'm gonna heal now then. I had a thought process in it. I think it's actually valid, but it's not gonna work now that I got attacked by that guy anyway, so. This guy will like definitely do damage to me. I don't really know how to avoid it. Like, even I knew he was coming with my headset, but I have no idea how I'm supposed to get around him. He's not very uh, bad at hitting his attacks. Pro plays. Well, that's just inappropriate. It's actually confused, Gar. He's like, wow. <laughs> okay, let me keep going. Yeah, I don't know if that was pro plays, but uh, we did survive, so it was something. Come on, fella. Just leave me alone, dogs, as well. I have no no time for it. No time for it today. I'm gonna get hit by at least two people here, so there go two of my knives. I got plenty. Come on. Ooh, did I only get grabbed by one? That was the best I've ever had, even on fourth survivor. That was good. This guy is gonna be a scumbag, scum king. So we'll stab him in the neck for that. Okay, now I'm gonna get haymaker real quick. Excuse me. Okay. Like, I want to know if there's a better way to get around him. There's probably a way to do it, right? What if I get him right in this corner and go... Okay, I don't know if that even hurts me, but I was hoping I could, like, knife him or something to get by him. Come on, come on, come on. I mean, I'm still on fine. This part, I also don't really know how to get around this person. Sometimes they're standing, like, right there, and sometimes they're not. It's a bit complicated. Okay, you back off. No one was asking your opinion, nor do they care. You, I can't even see. So thankfully, I ran by you. Again, not not exactly the hunk you're thinking about. You're gonna be maybe pleasantly surprised. When you see me. I don't know what the the better way around. Either way, I kind of take a knife here. I think it's kind of what I have to do. I take one here. And then that, this pushes the others out of the way and I can run by. I still have a lot of knives. I got nine knives. This guy's gonna totally hit me. He always hits me. Yeah. I still don't know what the solution is there. Nice, thank you. That helps. Every little bit of damage you can chip away at my health helps. Mr. X is here. What's up, buddy? Thanks for the haymaker. Thank you, random citizen. Yep, grab me. I know. I know. Okay. Man! Wait, that attack doesn't hurt? What attack? The haymaker? Does the haymaker not hurt? Because, oh my god, does that look like that would hurt. Yeah, just do it. Just do it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Alright, I remember that the door opens this time. Come on, open the door. Come on, come on, come on. Yep, get out of here, I don't care. Oh, that's the wrong way, that's the wrong way. Don't run that way. Oh god. I forgot there were dogs here. Wait, is he not paying attention? I know this other door, I remember this other door gets open too. Yeah, the choke slam. Oh, the choke slam, yeah. I mean, I imagine that would still hurt, but I appreciate that it doesn't hurt really damage. Now, this part just sucks. This sucked in Force Survivor, it sucks worse. Yeah, I'm dead. So, ah. That was good, though. That was pretty good. He just doesn't give an F, apparently. Dude, apparently. Apparently. Alright, let's quit for the essence of time and uh, doing something else. We'll do another one.
that dog was just like, I got a body right here. Dude, I appreciate that dog. Thank you for not being a total person. Okay, so for these, for these, let me, um, let me look at something real quick for these. So for these, okay. Okay, so we're gonna just roll with it. We're gonna roll with it. No time to mourn, let's go. Um, okay, yeah, this is just goofy. <laughs> Chris said, no glasses. Ryan called him a dick. Let's go. All right, no glasses. We're going to do no time to mourn. No glasses. I can't even read the text. Woo! This is going to go well. Okay. Let's try it, guys. Okay, let's try it. I can't even see, dude. No time to mourn is said, so it's better you don't see. No glasses to mourn. <laughs> Uh, no glasses to mourn, guys. Let's go. I'm going to skip the cutscene then. Um, and then when I die, inevitably, I will watch it when I have glasses on. Fellas, where am I going? Oh my god, guys. I don't think you realize how blind I am. I think I'm running into a wall. <laughs> Hold on. Where are we going? There's got to be a way right here. We're going to fumble around for a bit. It's okay. The best way to strengthen your eyesight is to use your eyes, I'll tell you. Here we go. Here's a path. Something's there. Thank you. Thank you very much for that something I picked up. I hear somebody. What's up, fellas? Oh, why do you look like that? Are they like toxin zombies? Okay. I also can't see how much ammo I have. Come on now. I think I'm going the right way. I know we're going into the little underground section there. I feel like we're making some progress. It's hard to tell what's enemies and what's not though without my glasses. Does that guy have like explosives on his back? Okay. Wait, but everything's red down here. All these doors are red. Should be green if we can go through them. Is the ladder that I used to get down here somewhere? Give me a second to pause just so I can see. Uh, there's no escape from bl <laughs> blindness. So when you can see, it won't matter. Minimum brightness. So oh, great. Thank you. Who reloads with his daughter turned into a zombie? Not you. Okay. So. I genuinely cannot see. I feel like this would be the right way. Uh, if it's not, then who knows? Because I don't think I can run to my left. But there were enemies down here. I don't know if anybody has any... Yeah, ghost survivors are not canon. That's what Robert said as well. Okay. So I could go through... There's like this little alleyway back here. That I know about from the game. I'm playing the main game. If it's still here, I could probably run through there. Yeah, right here. No, I can't run through there. So I have to go where I was going. I might have to put my glasses on, for real. Uh, just because I actually can't tell where I'm supposed to be going. 
I'll look one more time because no, okay. Just get stuck on the what a moron. Bro, what am I? Okay, never mind. There is something there. Not a moron. So there's lighting down here, which makes me think that this is the right way to go. Even without my glasses, even with barely being able to see, I can just make out objects, right? So this is a vehicle to my right, cop car. I can't read any of the text. None of these are green, but this is totally the right way to. It's gotta be the right way to go, right? Okay, I think glasses are coming on, boys. Unfortunately, because I've hit an actual roadblock. Maybe I will take them off when we progress. But these are all red, so. Uh, hey, thanks for the follow, Jack. Good person. Hey, <laughs> they're making me play without my glasses, so. You know, if you followed while I was doing that, thank you. I appreciate that, despite how terrible I was being. Nice to see you. Nice to meet you. Uh, forgive is not high skill gameplay. We made him take off his glasses. Yeah, thanks for explaining that. <laughs> okay. So, we're doing Ghost Survivors mode. We just finished uh, Hardcore Claire's run through. And... Hey, what's up, Vix? How you doing? Nice to see you. So yeah, yeah, nice to meet you, Jack. Uh, thanks for coming and ch chilling with us. I put my glasses back on because I literally cannot find out where to go. My vision is very bad, very poor. Big says, what are you doing? So we just finished uh, Claire's run through of Resident Evil 2 on Hardcore. And I'm going through just cleaning up the rest of the extra modes. We played Fourth Survivor and Tofu Survivor. Now we're doing the Ghost Survivors modes. And then next week we'll be playing Resident Evil 3. We'll start on that. So, sorry guys, I'm actually genuinely confused. I thought that would be the right way. None of those doors seem to lead to the correct path. So I'm gonna run back up here, now that I have my glasses on, and see what I can actually see. So the stretcher that no one made it into. I can't go through this door. So I'm assuming I gotta go back that way. I don't know what I was missing, though. Okay. Uh... Nice to meet you too, thank you. Not sure it'll be high, wow. David said, not sure it'll be high skill gameplay when he puts his glasses back on. Wow, wow. Uh, there should be a ladder to go down in the garage, maybe. Right, I was looking for a ladder. Am I blind even with my glasses? Um, yeah, sorry, I got lost. I was really gonna do the, uh, the glasses off the whole time. I think I could have done it. I was doing fairly well. And this isn't even the training mode. I don't know how long these are. Like the Tofu Survivor and Ghost Survivor aren't that, or the the fourth Survivor and Tofu Survivor aren't very long. <laughs> Jack says, "Cool, cool. Thank you for understanding, especially with this just garbage tier gameplay you're witnessing." Now there should be a ladder over here. Okay, I swear that there is. Right, I had the same thought. It's right here. It's right here. That's where it's at. Okay. Glasses back off, guys. Glasses back off. We'll do the glasses off run. Well, if the glasses are back on, I did redeem lowest brightness. Okay, do we want to do lowest brightness? That would make it a, a bit more able for me to do it. Whatever you guys enjoy the most, I, I'm having a great time with you guys. So we'll turn brightness all the way down. Let's see how trashed here. Wait, max brightness all the way down, min brightness, brightness. Yeah, this is some this is some trash tier. Look how it looks on the stream. You guys can't even see what's going on. I can see even less than that. I'm gonna have to look at my computer. Oh man, this is bad. Okay. Okay, lowest brightness it is. Uh, it's all whatever to me. Glasses off first run, lowest brightness next run. Spook. Glasses might as well be off. Oh, Jack. Thank you, Jack. Jack says no. You're no. You're not garbage. And Jack's name is Jack. Good person. Your name is coming through. It's true. You are a good person. Thank you for the support, honestly, though. It's okay. You can call me garbage, bro. I don't mind. There, I always tell these guys, there are games that I'm good at. There are games that I'm not so good at, so it's okay. Oh, man. I got sliced. Thank you for thank you for gifting that stuff. Oh, I'm going to get absolutely owned here. I apologize. <laughs> Next run will be better. I was also with my glasses off. I was shooting at everybody, which obviously should save some ammo. So that would probably be good. 
<laughs> but we'll do low, we'll keep lowest brightness and we'll run through it again. Uh, yeah, thank you so much for gifting that sub, Chris. Spooky, spooky. <laughs> man, the Blue Man Group really changed since I last saw them. It's the Purple People Eater. Wow, let's go. Okay, I didn't get to read this because I had glasses off last time. I'm going to read it real quick. Here is a tale of a future that never was, of a night that never dawned. Looking at the small, lifeless body beside him, Robert Kendo turned the gun toward himself when the sound of his radio stopped him from pulling the trigger. The voice of an old friend cackled through. Robert, partner, please respond. I've secured a chopper to get us out of here. Rendezvous ASAP. I'll hold position here until you arrive. That guy had always been stubborn. After he'd make up his mind, after he'd made up his mind, he wouldn't hear anything different. Forgive me, Emma. Daddy's got to go. Robert stood up. There was no time to mourn. Rip. Let's, I'm going to watch the cutscene, too. It's, it's too late, my friend. If you were, like, five seconds earlier... Well, actually, that's not true. She still would have turned them. So. Wow, the brightness is bad. Okay. All right, let's run through it like this. Wish me luck, guy. Okay. This is something silly. Now, why would I want the brightness to go this low? Oh, my God. Okay. Police radio recording. This is a fit... Officer Mills, HQ, please respond. This is HQ. What's the situation? A new monster. They've got these glowing eyes. Look like real creepy bastards. My partner took one of them out at point-blank range. The thing died, but when it did, it released some sort of purple smoke. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> Officer, remain calm. The smoke hit my partner head on. Now he can't stop coughing. Seems like he's having trouble breathing. What the F's going on? Uh, weren't we going to take care of these things with PZ gas? PZ gas. Political zombie gas. Calm down. We are currently confirming with Umbrella R&D. Shut up, that gas. Something's not right. Instead of killing them, it made them mutate. Wait, am I not supposed to shoot the purple people eater? The blue man group members? Wow, it is hard in, in minimum brightness. Okay. This is legitimately, I think this is worse than no glasses. So, instead of killing them, it made them mutate. Listen. Is that guy going to get back up? Oh, oh, no. They put the gas on them and it made them look like that? That's what it's saying? Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Come on, come on, come on. Shove your body up against that door. Uh, bringing them, bringing back them Blight Town vibes from Wednesday. The gas made them mutate, not shooting them. Yeah, this guy's cool. I like this guy. He makes my life nice and easy, and I appreciate him. So, yeah, the Blight Town vibes from Dark Souls Wednesday. Whew, it is very familiar. The minimum brightness, I think, is going to have to be a permanent challenge that we allow on here. Because it is a really solid one. It makes games extremely difficult. So I got destroyed here last time. I'm going to try and be a bit better. We are playing on the normal difficulty, by the way. There's like a normal and a training. I want to kill you because last time you really screwed me over, friend. Oh! Okay. That actually scared me a bit. Get out of here. I didn't even know you were back there. I thought you were chilling in the other room. Okay, so my guy doesn't have any health, though. I have to be careful about that. Come on. Come on, blue man group. Uh, just let me run by you. There's a bit too many people still alive for my liking. I'm not trying to use all my shotgun ammo, but it's a bit late at this point. Does anybody know if we get more supplies in this one, or if this is like the other two, where you what you have is what you got? Because I can make more ammo. Might be worth it. Uh, Mr. X is when I cry. <laughs> Dude, is there a toxic Mr. X? That's going to be good. I'm excited about that. If you leg the blue guys, they do they explode still? So if I shoot them in the, in the legs, you're saying? I'm not sure. Dang, 
does that guy have on? Oh my god, I can't see. What does he have? He's got like a parachute. No! I'm sorry, I was trying to get a better look! Aw, oh, dude. Aw, oh, man. I was just trying to check out what was going on. Guys, I'm sorry to be a scrub. Do we know the shotgun shells? You remember what we have to combine together? Oh, wait. Combine with gunpowder to make shotguns. Okay, so this. Let's make some more shotguns. Uh, three. Three shells? Come on. You could at least give me four. Otherwise, I'd usually try and run by some of these guys, but I'm a bit nervous to do that. Come on. Come on, knee boy. I literally cannot see. Thank you. Man. Minimum brightness is no joke. We should have done hardcore runs strictly on minimum brightness. Okay, so we're not taking the elevator back. Is this where we just ran through? I can't remember yet. I think we came. Get your flashlight out. I don't think there's anyone else hiding here. What is this? Resupply. Item dispensers. You can only take one item from an item dispenser and you won't be able to get the... Wait, you won't be able to get the items you don't select, so choose carefully. I gotta go green herb. I mean, I want the ammo, but I'm at danger already. I gotta heal. Okay, let's catch up a bit. Um, loot zombie! Backpack, they drop supplies. Oh, is that what it was? Dang, okay. Man, okay. Wait, really though? He was a loot zombie? I think I can still go back and get that. I didn't kill everybody, so it might be a bit of a risk, but I wonder what supplies he has. I thought he had a parachute on or something. I'm a big fan of loot zombies. Okay, so like, who... What's my opposition here? How many did I leave alive? I think I killed the first two, and the other three are still alive. This guy's legs are blown off. Oh no, I think... Oh yeah, there is one right here. I'm just gonna dome him. What do I care? Use the shotgun shell. Uh, yeah, they made me do minimum sensitivity. As Ryan said, they're bullies. <laughs> yeah, we do Dark Souls Wednesdays as well. So this is Resident Evil Friday. We do Dark Souls Wednesdays, and they gave me some really hard challenges on there too. So that's great. I've never played through Dark Souls before either. So um, You can take items from backpacks dropped by zombies. In the Ghost Survivors mode, weapons can be discarded too. If you don't have enough inventory space, take items. Gotcha. Cool. So this is how I make shotgun shells. I can use these. Cool. Uh, Jack says, I'm going to make food. Bye. See you later, Jack. Thanks for coming by, man. Appreciate having you, and thank you so much for the follow. Chris said, see ya. David says, have a good one. Let's go ahead and combine... And have three shotgun shells. We do have these, so combining this makes double amount compared to regular gunpowder. So if I combine these, I get even more. See, I never once looked at how the actual ammo system works, but I guess now is a good time to start. There should only be two left alive back here if that one guy survived. He did. He just was waiting for me. Don't grab me as I walk by. How about that? Cool. You know, minimum brightness is something else, I'll tell you. So I can't use that again. We're going to continue this way. Oops, sorry. So I, I bet these guys aren't dead, correct? But I'm still going to look at them. Oh, none of them are dead. Wow. 
Nice of you to be throwing a party down here. Not tell anybody about it. I can't even see. Turn on your flashlight. How come sometimes I don't have my flashlight? Pull it out! You're telling me it's not dark enough? Should be dead. Yes, thank you. Give me all that. Oh, oh that's not good. This is bad on a lot of levels right now. So I am poisoned and I've got no way to get out of it. Things are bad, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, also, if you mind with the high grade, it makes twice as much ammo. Yep. Can't use the light and the shoddy, probably. Can't you? Oh, gotcha. <laughs> Rip. David said, yeah, I'm probably dead for real, unfortunately. There's a sergeant... Uh, you know, some words over there. Okay. Let's go ahead and... Wait, there's an item dispenser here. It might be a blue herb. Blue herb. We gotta do it. I mean, it sucks, because I need to heal, but I will die from the poison flat out. Yeah, poison's gonna get you, unless you... Unless you can't die to poison. Uh, you can die to poison um, in the game, in the main game. I'm not sure if you can in this. Dude, I can't see. Look at this brightness. You guys are something else. Never mind, that was lucky. You guys are something else make me do this on minimum brightness. Look, and pull out your flashlight. Is there a way to make him pull out his flashlight? I know we're on minimum brightness and he's not, but pull out your flashlight! If you can die to poison in main game, you definitely can here too. I'm surprised you won't pull out the light. Pull out the light! How is this not dark enough for you? I can't even see the enemies. Check controls. Okay, let's check the controls. Maybe there is and I didn't know. Okay, so there's no actual... There's no setting, like, to auto-do it or something. Um, no, I don't see any flashlight. Unless it somehow counts as, like, a, a sub-weapon if you don't have one. No? Okay. Alright, so we're, sh like, legitimately, we're probably gonna die here. Because I'm on danger and I cannot see. I know there were people there. Like, if I could get them in here. Nope, rip. Flying blind, man. Dude, like... Honestly, what is this junk? Where'd he go? He's right here. Um, I, s I can't see. How is this not bright enough for you? Come on. There's a guy right here. I see that. I see movement. Come here. Let's combine these. Get more shotgun shells. Okay, I cannot see that guy to headshot him. Let's see if we can go this way. He has glowing eyes, you'll see him. They are helpful. I can see him, but the problem is, I don't know if there's anybody else, and they don't all have the glowing eyes. That's Oh, well, there's someone right here, it sounds like. On the other side of this table, okay. Okay, he's dead. This game. Is there a reason to go this way? Should I kill this guy? Wait, it trapped me in. Okay, well I guess I know what way I'm going then. Okay. Oh, you decide to turn it on now? You know, just in case we might need it? You can turn it off. I'm good now, dude. Don't worry. Okay. All jokes aside, let's go. I'm sure there's gonna be one of these guys in the water. I hate, I hate these guys. I'm so bad at taking them down. I don't have any blue herbs or counters. I need to pull out the light. Dang it. Okay. I can shoot him from here, but... Really, I'm not confident that I won't use all my ammo. Whoa! What the... Where? Where did he 
go? You can't even walk out there! Is he in the water? I can't tell what's the water and what's not the water. I know, I know, stop! I'm trying to avoid you, can't you tell? Open your eye. Take what you deserve. Oh my god, this is impossible. Let's run by him. Let's run. I think he's far enough over we can run by him. Nope! Okay, is that him? Where did you come from, sir? Oh my god, I think he just ended my career. He did. He ended me. He ended me, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. I gotta turn the brightness back up. That was actually quite fun. I do like the minimum brightness as much as I complain about it. Definitely willing to do it again. I think I'm going to turn it back up. Um, we are two hours in. On the bright side, you'll be able to see now. That is the bright side. Literally the bright side. Good one. I caught that one. Good one. So I am going to... Yeah, I'll turn that back up. And I think... All right. So does anyone know how long this is? It's probably not super long. I think everything was at default. I don't usually adjust my stuff too much. Oh God, it's like Christmas morning. No clue, okay. It's cool. I definitely want to do this one. Um, I don't know, how, like, I think there's another one that you unlock once you do them. I probably won't do those, or maybe we'll, okay, you know what we'll do? We'll do this one. I'll probably wrap it up after this one unless we're done in like 20 minutes or less. Because if we have 40 minutes left over, we can probably knock out two of them. Like this one and then another one. If it takes us longer, I'll probably wrap up after this one. And then during Resident Evil Friday, once we get to a point where we want to stop the stream, if we have extra time, I'll switch to RE2 and do the other ones. Because I still do want to do them all. Oh. Yeah, about that. Whoops. Okay, it's fine. Now I can see. Now I've got my glasses on, so I can double see. Guys, you watch me shoot him. I don't think I have to say anything there. Now, you guys are a lot more, like, you guys have know a lot more about guns in real life than I do. Please explain to me. Is bullet drop-off instant once it hits, like, a certain meter mark? It just gravity takes over, it simply falls to the ground. Because I feel like I got cheated there. And, I mean, maybe I saw it wrong, but I'm pretty sure I blew up that dude's pack. Okay. Pretty sure. Bam. Bam, bam. So you, I don't like you. I, I really think you're probably the worst thing in the world. Reload, reload. There we go. Oh, absolutely. Once a bullet has reached the designated range, uh, the design range, it instantly stops in place and falls to the floor. It's physics. Bullets actually go before they drop. Wait, bullets actually go up before they drop? Really? That's true. I've never heard that. not saying I don't believe you. I just was not aware of it. Interesting stuff. Is it because they catch like wind resistance or like air resistance as they start to slow down and it pushes them up? Yeah, they spin. Wait, did the, did the pistol just single shot the eye zombie? It did. I don't know why. I think it just critted him. Pretty sure they start to drop as soon as they leave the barrel due to gravity. They just don't drop much. Yeah, I was more joking because, uh, I don't know. I, I felt like I shot that guy right, right in the, um, explosive back thing he has, but... 
Yo, look at the frames per second on that dude's animation. It was like a solid three. Oh, I didn't know he was a stupid... Oh, man, okay. I can get to the dispenser and get blue herb, but we'll be okay. Let's combine, get some more shotgun shells. I need to go get a blue herb from the dispenser over here. Um, Mask Short says, hi. Thanks for the follow, Mask Short. appreciate that. How you doing? Nice to meet you. Maybe if you hit the eye itself. That's a good idea. I will try that. They spin to stabilize, but I doubt that makes them hop up. I'll have to look it up. The barrel is slightly tilted up, so at close ranges, the iron sights are exactly where it shoots. But yes, they start to drop immediately. Then after 30 feet... After 30 feet, all bullets stop. Otherwise, they could hurt someone, and that's illegal. That's true. <laughs> I like how this all started because I was complaining about the game's bullet physics. Okay, I need to get through. I need to kind of run through here. The fact that he just... This is bad. This is really bad. Because I got poisoned by mistake after using my blue oil. Oh, that dude was like a ninja. Oh, I'm dead. Okay. Dang it. Alright, I screwed that run up. If I didn't get poisoned, I would have been okay. But I have to run through to get the blue herb. That's alright. Attempt number three. We'll do it on that one. I got something. Okay. Handguns, you shouldn't shoot over 50 meters. Dude, I don't even know if it was 50 meters. I'd say it was about a solid 20 meters. It was not very far. I think we got it this time. I'll be more careful with the... Um, with the blue herbs. I won't shoot anybody too close. Get to the meetup point in the sewers. Oh, so the sewers might be the the end of this mission as well. So I don't think we are very far from, from the end of this. I think this is relatively short. Because we got to the sewers in the first attempt we did. I only took two shots for that guy. I felt like that was a pretty solid eye shot. He did not go. He did not burst immediately. But it could be a crit thing, for sure. So look, this is where I shot him from. Bells. Come on. Come on. Um, yeah, that should hit, Chris said. <laughs> yeah. I think they didn't spawn his hitbox yet for that. Because he's too... Or an invisible wall, yeah, one or the other. Because he's too far away. Yeah, it's, that's annoying, though. <laughs> if you should... I think you... Because you can't see him from that far. I feel like they could have spawned him from that far. Okay, but to be fair, I did not work on the game, so I will not complain. Okay, so this part... Come on. Bring it on, boy. You get countered, though, if I do say so myself. Okay. Easy. Easy sauce. We keep going. Now, I know there's a bunch of guys here. Come on out. Welcome. Whoops, that was a terrible shot. See, that one shot at him. Pretty good pistol. Not gonna lie. You guys are something else. Would you like to die at any point? I mean, you don't have to. That's why I'm kind of asking you nicely. Okay. I deserve that. I was trying to be too nice to him. 
Turns out nine millimeter is quite strong against weak fleshy parts <laughs> in five feet. Yep. So this guy is a poison guy, which I did not know last time. Yeah, one shot him. Very sweet. See, this time we still have our blue herb and um, and we are not poisoned to this guy. Keep that in case. Uh, the pistols have a crit chance on headshots in RE games. Yeah, I knew they did. Do you think that's what it is? Just whenever you get a crit, it's a one-shot kill on these guys? Okay, I think I'm going to use some shotgun. There's just a ton in this little alleyway. And I don't really feel like playing around with it. Easy. Okay. On to the next. Uh, nope, that's not where we're going, sorry. gonna get this time I still think we get the green herb because we have enough ammo there's another dispenser not far we have to get down here there's also a backpack guy here like all the shotgun shots. Dead giveaway though, if they're down that uh and they still have that glow, but they're not actually dead. Just saying. Let's make some more ammo here. Handgun. Uh, I mean, everything should. Every. I agree with that. Down we go. Shawnee's buckshot. It's super effective. Dude, this thing is god tier. I think we do this because I can either use it before that big guy or after. If I can't run around. Also, there. There's not a zombie to my right, correct? That you have. He had the spark shot on him. Run by you guys. Oh, there's a lot of people here. I regret this instantly. Instantly. Well, now we're committed. Now we're committed to continuing to run. Go, 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 go. Nope. Leave me alone. Jack says, Hey, I'm back. Hey, Jack, how you doing? Nice to see you back, buddy. So we're still on this, we got farther. Whoa! Well, I said we got farther. He's just gonna poison me, it's cool. But I, I should be good because I just used my shotgun resistance and all that. I have to run now though. Get out of here! No one wants that. Okay, keep running. We're almost there. We're almost there. I think we I think we got past that far. Welcome back. Maybe still in the end. Hey, you eat anything good? That's a good question. What did you have for dinner? I know we're having pizza tonight, which is pretty good. Ooh. Combat knife. 
I want to be able to protect myself. How is he not dead? I know I wasn't as close as I should have been, but still. flaming thing on your back. You fool. So the spark shot's just taking up a lot of my inventory, which they said you could discard weapons in this mode, but... Uh... Probably not as good as your two racks of rib you bragging about, Chris. <laughs> Jack said, Jesus! Yeah, those are almost done. Sadly, don't have any potatoes in-house today, but oh well. Dude, that sounds good. We're just having pizza. Should be pretty good. Nothing too crazy. Oh, not you. Can I kill you with the spark shot? I thought I could only kill you with flaming things, and that's kind of concerning me right now. Oh, yeah, I don't like this at all, actually. Hey, dude, I'm gonna shock you and hope you fall over, then I'm gonna run by you, okay? Okay, he did fall over. Let's go. Yeah, it's fine. I'll use that. Oh god, okay. What's up, friends? Can I headshot two people at once? Okay, not worth waiting to find out. If that guy comes up behind me, I'm so screwed. I need to go quick. No! Get out of here. No one asked for you. No one asked for you to be here. Give me my knife back. So we're going up. I think that's that guy coming. I think he's chasing me the whole time. Oh, God. Oh, oh, things are bad. Things went from bad to very bad very quickly. Don't come up behind me, friend. No! Oh, and I was like a second away. Come on. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. No. No, Big Mac is back. Oh, I'm so screwed. Come on, come on, come on. Let me off the stairs. Don't panic. We're good. I'm really surprised Big Mac was actually still alive, though. Come on. Fall into the water, dude! Wait, can I not- Okay, sorry. <laughs> sorry. I just got nervous. Why? Oh, there's a thing down here. Okay, I'm not gonna choose from that yet. Depending on how this fight goes out, I might need a different way. Just get gritted already, my friend. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Woo! Things were getting scary, guys. Okay. Uh, yum. Oof called it. Oh, man. That's, the stairway is bad. Ammunition is running low, it seems. Flip! <laughs> Dude, it was getting scary. I gotta be honest. It's alright. We made it. We made it out. Not even close, David says. So the question is, do we want to take the risk with the blue herb and say... Mm, this is tough. I might go get the high-grade ammo and combine them. But the problem is that other guy is there. I don't want to do that. So I'm a bit nervous about that. Thank you for the cheer, Pat. Thank you so much, buddy. I really appreciate that. Do you know... Do you have a preference, guys? What do you think I should... Oh, I could get the green herb and heal... But if I get poisoned, I could die from it. I'm going to actually fight the people in the stairwell first. If I fight them first, at least I can know... Wait, did everybody come down? I thought there were a few more. I don't have any shotgun ammo. So I might be at the end. 
Okay, it looks like I gotta go that way. Oh wait, that's a backpack zombie. I could try and kill him with the three bullets I have. Although if I don't kill him, I'm in a lot of trouble because I don't have any more ammo. So now is not the time to miss. Yeah. Okay, I didn't miss, but he didn't die. He did, he did drop his backpack. Mixed herb, excellent. I'm not even going to kill that guy, then. Alright, uh... David says, can you open the safe? And Jack says, yeah, really? Because I know the safe's over here. I would have assumed we could not open it. Yeah, what is going on, guys? It's like a reunion over here. Whoa, 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 Why are you moving so fast? Stop. Okay, I'm running out of ammo again. I need you to die, sir. Okay. Are you sure we can open the safe? We cannot open the safe. We cannot open the safe. Things are bad. Run back. Run back. Okay. We're going to run back. We're going to run back. And what we're going to do is hope that this guy's not here. Because if he's here, we're flat out dead at this point. David says, oof. Yeah, we're in a bit of trouble. We're okay. Okay, he's still there, but I can't grab the ammo. He's far enough away. We're gonna grab his ammo, and I'll be able to make whatever this makes. These makes this makes the mag bullets though. I don't have anything to use the mag bullets on. I need to get ammo from somewhere else. I don't think I can. I don't think there's any other ammo on the map. Which means I'm gonna have to find a way to run and got, run by those guys if I want to win. I feel like we're at the end because our objective is to meet in the sewer, and we're in the sewer. And we've basically explored the entire sewer as well. So I might take a blue herb, combine with this, heal right before we go in, and then just try and run by with my damage reduction. Well, uh, well, if you get the blue hoot, you can get damage resistance and get a full heal. Yep, that's my thought exactly. Excuse me, my thought exactly, my friend. Let's do it. It's now or never. Oh my god, there's a lot of you. I have no I have no business with any of you Yes, 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 yes boys Yes boys and girls Done excellently Okay, come on, come on, come on This has got to be it, right? No, sir! I don't even Oh my god, guys We are in trouble now If that guy hits me, we're dead If that guy hits me, we're dead Oh. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Cool. Or not, <laughs> he said. Wait, what happened? Hold on. Take a hit before healing. It's a full heal. Cool. Or not. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> yep. Pat said kite. You don't have a knife no more, correct? If he comes in the big room, you may be able to get around him. Yep. Got around him. We're doing all right so far. This has to end very soon, though, because I'm in... Oh, my God. I'm in monumental trouble right now. Monumental trouble. No! Not that guy! Come on, come on. Just leave me alone. Just leave me alone. Ah! Oh, it was only a matter of time. It was only a matter of time. No! What is this? The double eating me? Stop! What is this teaming? I never saw that the entire time we played the, the game. Oh, get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. No, there's so many now. Oh, I'm so dead. I'm dead now. I'll be fine with this guy, but there's a plant guy right here. Keep running, keep running. Okay, it's fine. Damage resistance, baby. No! Oh, God! No! What is this nonsense? No! I'm still alive somehow with damage resistance. Come on! Come on! No, 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 no! 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 Did we do it? I think we might have done it, actually. Oh my god! What the heck? Okay! Whew. Thank you for the cheer, John, by the way. Thank you so much, buddy. Oh man. 
<laughs> oh, there we go, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Okay. Um, let, let me let me read through this because I did see some funny things coming in in the chat. So, uh, th thank you so much for the cheer, John. Chris said, uh, "Pro Jukes, sup, fam? What's up, John?" Jack said, "The combat knife tool." Uh, Pat said, "Tofu was re good training for you. It actually was. It really helped me out there." Oh man, that was rough. Looking like a double wide surprise. Nice, he was still immune. So many. Just getting mobbed. Hey Dave, what's up? He said, hey dude, I'm here. Sir, I'm late though. No, you're good. This is hilarious. How did that work? What? Did he just live through that? Damage resistance clutch. How? Thank you again for the cheer, Pat. Thank you so much. I spelled it wrong. Damage resistance OP. Every step he got bit by two dudes. The sand neck is making him adamant wait, adamantine? Adamantine? What is that? A adamantine? What is that? That sounds familiar. John Cheer, thank you, John. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate that. Adamantium. Oh gotcha. Gotcha. Adamantium. That's what I was thinking of. He just got eleven hickeys. From the end there, I did. There were a lot of hickeys there. <laughs> Jack said, OP. It's, yeah, it's Wolverine Skeleton. Wolverine Skeleton is, gotcha. Super hard metal. Nice, guys, nice. I can't believe we pulled that off. That was something else. And those guys would have been one shots, the plant people. That was, that. that's worth a clip. Like, honestly, I gotta say, if someone doesn't clip it, it's cool. I think I'm gonna clip that part. I think that was worth it. That was funny. Yeah, that was good. I'm really happy about that. Dude, I came in right when it got nuts. Yeah, you saw that? That was crazy. All right, guys. Well, we still got half an hour, so we'll do we'll do one more, even if we're just playing it. Like, we'll try it out. We can, it looks like we can probably get accessories now. Yo, what? I could get the G accessory? Sheep. Tiger. All right, we got to put G on. Let's put G on. Let's go. Uh, the only one who didn't bite him was the instant kill plant guy. I don't know how to do clips, so so it's your fault. No, it's okay. I just I want to watch that again because that was crazy. Uh, the only ones, yeah, one of the really bad one, dude. That was awesome. I am so happy about that. Amazing. All right, run away. Let's do run away. We'll probably do this one and then call it a night. But here is a tale of a future that never was, of a night that never dawned. I'll take you to meet your special someone. Catherine Warren simply believed Iron's words. Okay, Iron's is the police chief. He was a gentleman and the chief of police after all, not to mention a good friend of her father, the mayor. However, after he lured her to the orphanage, he let the mask slip. Do you, do you know? I think you may become my greatest work. She fell into despair as she heard the words, but fate was on her side. She took the jail cell keys from her would-be killer and made up her mind. I have to go. I have to rescue my love, Ben. Who the heck is Ben? Dude got stabbed right in the neck. Okay. Bend over. All right, good one, Pat. Yo, I am looking sweet in this helmet. Let's go. Uh, in real lore, she straight up gets taxidermied. I remember her. She was on the table when we were playing as Sherry. Damn, she looking good there. Got that wide neck. Looking like a double wide surprise. Dude, the zombies were loving my neck last time. I wonder how they'll like it now. Okay. We got letter to the director. Do you recall the white specimens discussed in last month's report? The researchers have named them pale heads. These specimens have undergone a special mutation. Unlike normal specimens, they have the ability to regenerate. Ah, oh, God. It would be difficult to stop these specimens with weak weapons. Not impossible, I should add, but it would take some time. I wouldn't try it myself. To stop a pale head, you must use high-powered weaponry that can damage it faster than it can regenerate. My team is currently searching for a way to reliably produce pale heads. Therefore, I would like to request that double the number of subjects are sent to our laboratory next month. This is the price we must pay to secure a brighter future. I'm not sure what kind of brighter future we're looking for, but this is not it. Uh, damn, that's hot. Oh, flip. <laughs> that's some thick lips. Wow. Welp. 
Uh, have fun with that. Ah, so the dude from RE7, correct. Basically, you gotta shoot them in the head with the magnum to kill. That's what it sounds like. Do I have a magnum? Oh, thank God that, you know, little Miss, Miss G on her head has the magnum over here. So I have a lot of rounds, but only two high-powered rounds. I do have an unlimited ammo combat knife, though. I'm assuming you're one of them. Are you not one of them? Okay. I can't tell if you're one. You do kind of have a pale head, but, uh... I think you're just pale. Okay, just get out. It might be just pale, to be honest. Okay, that's definitely not something I've seen before. What's up, pale head boy? Easy. Yeah, these things are kind of freaky. Got him? I'm afraid that they're still not dead. Come on, come on, come on. I need you to drop, because that guy's coming for me. Old key, yes. Give me the old key. Great, that's not even where I'm going. I'm so screwed. Okay, give me this. Hand grenade, handgun ammo, or high-powered rounds. Oh, that's tough. Okay, I think we gotta take the high-powered rounds because we don't have any more already. Uh, not a pale head. They're pretty recognizable. That's the dude from Pan's Labyrinth. I'm actually not familiar with what that is, but it does not sound good, whatever it is. I'm gonna get the high-powered rounds, I think. David also agrees that this is probably the best option. Okay, you ready? What's up, big boy? Hey, you're doing a little jig there. I'd appreciate it if you just died, to be honest. I'm gonna switch back to regular. So the key hopefully undoes this, correct? Excellent work. Oh, this is, I'm not a fan. Do I have to kill you guys? I mean, I kind of want the backpack boy. I'm not good at killing the dogs, though. They'll probably mess me up if I'm being honest. I should just run. Well, I've never seen a dog bite like that. I've only seen a little quick ones. Wait, I need the key, though. I need to kill him. Okay. Oh, he dropped the backpack. Here. Chemical flamethrower. Let's go, boys. So is this what you guys were talking about? About uh, how a flaming zombie is not a good one? Because I can see why this would be bad. Let's go. Shut the door behind you. Thank you. Someone with some intelligence. Dude, I love <laughs> I love this head, though. <laughs> can we talk about that? Okay. Okay. Um, I, okay. Isn't that the movie from the 90s? Though the hand grenade is pretty spicy, too. That mouth, though. This is a, you know, this is pretty nice. What the heck am I watching right now? Excuse the heck out of you. Okay. This is tough. This is, this is challenging. I have to get around about 80 people right now, so... I could either burn them or try and run around them. I think... I think it's going to take more high power rounds, maybe. Let's see. Fuel? Ryan says fuel. I might do fuel, because there are a lot. Fuel. HP. HP is not an option, so I would like to take that. Trust me, it's the first thing I look. Don't you remember me last night? That's true. That's, uh, you know, I won't, I won't lie about that. High power. Oh, sorry. My bad. My bad. High power? Fuel or high power? What do we want, guys? I'm okay with either. Okay. Just skip the group. Skip the group. Okay. We'll try the eight. Because the thing is, I don't know how many pale heads there are. I actually want the fuel more than I want the high power, because it's only four. But I think I might be able to run by it pretty easily. I do remember, though, Ryan. I'm going to... Oh, sugar! The question is, will they fall over very easily? They won't from me setting them on fire. So I could try and burn Backpack Boy right here. Yeah. 
Really? I thought I was out of her range, that was my bad. I know you said skip the group, but at this point I'm committed. We're committed! I actually just wanted to kill Backpack Boy, but... Where did the backpack go? I don't see it at all anymore. Did I burn the backpack? Is that something you can do? I doubt that's something you can do. Let's put high powered. Uh, I want flash grenade, David said. Okay, next time. Uh, if you're skipping the group, go HP. If you're killing, go fuel. Well, yeah. This is a Christian channel. He ain't gonna flash people. That's true. You can't burn backpack. Okay, I want to imagine. So where the heck did it go, though? I need you to uh, eat my knife there for, for a minute, big boy. Yeah, what, are you, what is E.T. No! Sorry. What's E.T. doing on my bus? Get out of here. Get out of here, E.T. Okay. I'm not going back to my knife either. I don't care if he's dead or not. Oh, we, we're dead, fellas. It's over for us. We're going to have to get through that. I can't get through that. Have you ever seen that, scumbag? Oh, and I trapped myself. Nice. Yeah, I knew I was dead. I mean... We'll, we'll go round two. I, the thing is, I don't want to use my high-powered rounds because I only have two. And... I didn't have anything to heal with. So I think it's better to just restart. We'll, we'll plan that out a bit more. Now that I know those pale heads are on there, I am going to grab the heavy, the high power, and I'm not going to use all my fuel. I wanted to use the fuel for the backpack, but I could not get that, uh, I couldn't find it. Rip infinite knife. Yeah, it's gone instantly. That's a stage two Neomorph, man. <laughs> Neomorphs, dude. There's something else. Okay, come on. Let's go. Go to Ben's. Who the heck is Ben? Am I supposed to know a Ben? Come on through. What's up, big man? See ya. See ya. Excellent. I should have taken high power rounds. Um, I'm thinking about the frag because you said the frag is pretty spicy too, and I'm wondering if that'll be better for fighting that liquor. Because um, I'm going to grab the high power rounds out of this one. I don't think I need all of them. I used more than I needed last time. I think it'll be okay. I just need to make this guy drop his backpack like instantly so I can run through. Yeah, because photos taken moments before disaster. Okay, he missed. Good. There are three liquors in one zone. Don't tell me that. Please just keep that to yourself. I don't want to know about how many liquors I have to be terrified to fight. So, Dave said he won the flash grenade. So, Marshall said he won the flash grenade. Dave, okay, high power rounds fuel. I think we're going to go high power rounds now since we don't have any. But we do have the frag grenade. So, the frag might actually be turbo spicy. Wow. Turbo spicy is one I'm not familiar with. Let's go ahead and run over here. Um, I want your backpack, dude. Hold on. Give me your, give me the goods. Give me the goods, give me the goods, give me the goods. Fuel. All right, come on. I'm gonna put high power rounds in. Let's see if we can down these guys instantly. Come on. Let's go. Out of here. So, where are the three, the three liquors? They're not in here, right? Because I do have my knife still. 
Oh, they are right here. Oh, God! Okay. The problem is it's gonna take my knife. I should have equipped the frag. Come on. Come on. We're okay. We're okay. I need to blow that up instantly, though. How are they still alive, dude? Okay. Okay, this is... I'm gonna use the high power. I didn't want to do this, but... No, I missed my shot. Oh, they're still alive? Oh, these guys have more health than I bargained for. Yeah, they got me. Three liquors there is hard. Wait, they didn't get me. Oh, <laughs> nice. He shambled right on top of me. Three liquors there is hard. Even the high-powered, after getting stunned from the knockback on the grenade and getting high-powered, he still didn't, um, he, the one didn't even die. And I shot him like three or four times with the uh, regular bullets. Okay, we'll do a few more attempts here. Probably like two more attempts. See if we can, uh, see if we can survive... Grenades actually do less area damage when put in the mouth like that. Oh, really? I mean, I guess that makes sense, but I'm still calling a, still calling a bit of crap on that one, I feel like. Okay. All right. You said, do I feel like doing Bug Lady after this? What is Bug Lady? Is that the, the boss in RE7? If you do some bug lady, I'll I'll hop on for a bit. I gotta eat after this, but I'll I'll gladly have hop on. I had a great time last night. Oh guys, um, yeah. Wh why am I garbage all of a sudden? Hello. You hit your shot. Oh my gosh, I'm trash. Trash. Oh, I wasted all my ammo. Guys, by the way, I'm going to be doing, I posted on the Discord, but I'm going to be doing some a game called Wiffle Blasters next Sunday. It's uh, friends of mine from work. They, It's their game. They've been working on it since I started working there about two years ago, like a year and a half ago. A little more than that. Um, actually, almost two years ago. Anyway, I told them I would play it. It's like their beta. It's a multiplayer game. If you guys are interested in playing with me, so far I've... Uh, one person who's willing to play. If you guys want to play with me, it'll become available next week. We could co-stream it together. It's up to you. No obligations, but if you're interested, it's going to be free. Let me know. Um, I'm, I'm full of Mexican beer. I saw that. I'm going to do that if I can. Okay, cool. I'll totally do it. Okay, cool. That would be great if you guys were interested. It should be a lot of fun. I haven't actually played it yet, so I won't, I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, the game's so, so good. You know, like, I haven't played it yet. So, I won't lie to you guys, even though they're friends from work, but I think it looks, it looks like it's, ooh, it looks like it's really well made in terms of the mechanics. Uh, everything I saw, like, I saw the trailer, and I saw actually an old build they were doing at work, and it looks like it's pretty solid. It should be fun as a, as a game we're all playing together. So, I'd love to have you guys you guys are more than welcome to stream at the same time if you'd like, of course. Um, whatever you want to do. So no obligations, but they wanted to lock me down for a time because they're going to advertise the stream and have their friends, you know, have everyone who worked on it watch and support and we can talk to them, ask questions if we want about the development cycle. Like in the chat, they can answer. So I figured, I was like, yeah, I'll see if I can get some friends of mine. If you guys are interested, I'd love to have you. I think it's four on four, uh, so there's plenty of people because they're. I think there'll be private matches since it's just a beta, so we need eight people. Anyway, um, we get the full spectrum of skill levels. <laughs> Correct, David said. All right, it's been a pleasure. I'm gonna go take a nap. You're good, David. I agreed, Ryan. I don't know who takes a nap at 9 p.m. Uh, David apparently. But yeah, we'll be wrapping up in probably one more attempt after this if we don't get it right here. So thanks for coming by. Great having you as always. And yeah, next time we'll be doing Resident Evil 3.
So we're doing all right this time. We do still have our knife. We didn't lose it. And I'm going to grab the high-powered rounds. I don't have the frag is the problem. But I do have plenty of high-powered rounds. I'm actually going to use some against the liquors outside the fence before they can reach. Excuse me. I don't know why I'm so, like, burpy slash hiccupy today. Now I'm going to kind of kite these guys a bit. Um, I work Monday, Thursday, Friday till 4.30. Other than that, I can do it. It's going to be on a Sunday. So if you're interested, you'll have... There'll be no problem with your schedule. Oh, I don't have high-powered rounds on. Great. Well, I just screwed the whole run. Measure. I just screwed everything, boys. Actually, I did it. Because they let me get past them, and now I saved that extra ammo. Excellent news. I promise, I'm scared I won't be able to hit you from here, but I need to. I need to hit my shots. Come on, my dude. They take three? Not like I can kill the other ones like that. I might just try and run by them. Although they're definitely going to do some damage to me. And I think I need to get that guy. I need to get his key, I'm sure. I do still have my knife. So if they don't actually kill me, I couldn't grab this. Reload, dang it. Ah, oh, they got me. I right, will do one more tonight. One more run tonight. Um, and then we'll do Resident Evil 3 next Friday. But, like I said, if there's any extra time we have at the end of streams on Resident Evil Friday, I'll come back and do these as well. Iron says, perfect. Excellent. Yeah, I'd love to have you guys, honestly. You guys, specifically, are... Always active in the Discord, always supporting me, just genuinely, and I really appreciate it, and I would love to play with you guys. There's people I could ask, but, like, I know you guys don't have a fun time with it, and I know you guys would be good for beta testing, because, like you said, you are a range of skills. Like, I don't know if I'm going to be good at it or not, but there's people, like, them playing it. Well, they know, you know, they developed the game. They know how to play it. It's just how that works. So, um, us playing it will be, like, a large... Some people will be good at it, some people probably won't be good at it. It'll be a good test for their game, because they're doing some beta stuff. Ryan said, I'm gonna head... Wait, I'm gonna be bad. Oh, gotcha. I mean, I'm probably gonna be bad, too. They don't care about the skill, it's literally all for fun. It's honestly, like, honestly what it is, is they want to get exposure out there. They asked me if I'd be willing to stream it, I told them yeah. Like, they're friends from work. They fought to keep me on... Like, I can't say much about it, but they've done stuff to keep me on projects at work by sticking their neck out for me, essentially. And, you know, they do that, and all they're asking is, like, hey, you want to play this game that we made, you spent two years making on your stream? Like, yeah, I'll do that. So they made it, like, an official event, and they're going to advertise it. And I feel like it's necessary. What game? What I miss? So, Pat, would you be interested in playing next Sunday a game with uh, that people from my work have been working on for two years. It's going into beta. It's going to be up on Steam next week at some point. It's free. Uh, I told them I would help them beta test and kind of give them exposure. So sun next Sunday, we're going to be playing some... It's a game called Wiffle Blasters. Uh, I did post the link in the Discord if you want to actually look, but you can probably look at Steam. Just If you type in Steam, Wiffle Blasters. It's like Wiffle Ball, but it's like... Uh, I don't know how to describe it. Like... It's like they took the wiffle ball concept but made it into almost more like a... I don't know. It, it, it is a pretty cool concept. But if you're interested, for real, I'd love to have you. Love to play with you. It is multiplayer and it's free. So... Uh, you won't be allowed to get mad and shout at people, Pat. Gotta be professional. It doesn't have to be professional. But you, could probably be, you could probably shout at people. Uh... Yeah, they're going to advertise the stream and all, so I'm not saying they have, like, you know, it's not going to be a thousand people, but they're going to advertise, so there, there should be quite a few people interested in checking it out, including the developers themselves, so they'd love to hear any feedback. Um, and they want to kind of know what they can make better for the game, because it's in beta. So I was going to try and help them out. 
We'll still be doing all of our regular streams that week. That's just a new one for Sunday. Okay, come on. So, my new plan is screw the lifters entirely. If I can, which I don't think I can. I think they're going to destroy me. This guy won't drop his backpack. There we go. Let's see if I, I can't even get out of here. Nope, okay. We'll figure this out in another one. I'm getting very warm in here. I don't know why. I don't know if the heat is on or, or if the AC is not as high. But I think I'm going to go tear up some food. It's about time. Uh, I know, I know, take that giant mouth and eat the liquors. Dude, honestly, we could use some help here. But now we'll do these another time. Sorry, I was just really, really happy about how we managed to beat that. No time no more. We'll do those another time. Uh, but next Friday, we start Resident Evil 3 for Resident Evil Friday. So thanks, everyone, who came by the stream. Seriously, as always, amazing stream. Love having you guys. Thank you. Uh, we'll be doing Dark Souls Wednesday again. And we'll probably sh we might stream tomorrow. We are kind of busy with housework. We got a lot of stuff ordered that we are working on assembling. So... That'll probably be my job for tomorrow. So we'll see. But anyway, um, Dave says, see you guys. Ryan says, night. Pat says, see you, bro. Chris says, night. Night, everyone. Thanks for coming by. I'll switch it to the little ending screen as usual. Uh, Ryan, if you're still here, let me know if you're going to stream. I'll gladly tune in tonight. I just got to go get some food and chill for a bit, but I'll be ready after that. So night, everyone. See you later.